everybody. Good afternoon. This is Tammy Treyer with TreyerWilderness.com. I am going to flip this around and just show you a little something pleasant for us out here. We got snow. I'm so excited. I love snow. Everybody around me thinks I'm nuts and curses me when I start celebrating the snow. But it is snowing here and it's supposed to continue to snow. So I'm excited about that. So it looks like I'm live. I'm hoping I'm live. I tried YouTube live just a second ago and it wouldn't let me go. So my apologies again, YouTube. You're going to get the upload. But hey, there we are. I'm back. I don't know if I was gone and I got somebody out there joining me. Who's out there joining me? Where are you from? And what are you grateful for today? Today is day four of my November 30-day Gratefully Prepared Challenge. I'm really excited. I just got done showing um, everybody the snow we have gotten. It's not a lot. It's just beginning. Um, a little while ago, we were getting huge puffy flakes. I love the snow. Everybody curses me because I just love the snow. And out here, it's just so amazing. It hangs on the trees, and it's so untouched. Hi, Shelly. Welcome. Welcome. And it, it's just beautiful. I feel like I'm in Narnia, if you've ever seen the movie. It's just, it's just magnificent. Yeah, there's nothing greater for me. So today, again, is day four. For those of you that are just now joining me and starting getting involved, oh, awesome. Nice to see you, James. I saw Paris and got really excited. Not that Paris, Tennessee isn't great, but I thought you were from Paris. It's just neat to see people joining from all over. We have followers from all over the country, and it just amazes me. I have some people from Australia and Belgium, just all over. It's really awesome. So anyway, James, regardless if you're in Paris, Tennessee or not, welcome. And I'm really glad to hear that your family is what you're grateful for. Actually, today, my grateful thing, I'm going to share a little early since he's standing behind me here. You see that young man behind me there? Wave and smile while you're chopping your potatoes. That right there is my mountain boy, Austin, and I just love him dearly. Um, Shelly, we are located in uh, northern Idaho on the, in, in the Panhandle region and absolutely love it out here. But for those of you that are new to what I've got going on here, I decided to do a gratefully prepared challenge for November. Um, I love this time of year. I love the snow. I love anything pumpkin and cranberry. I, I love the holidays um, because of the reason for the holidays. And I just enjoy being very thankful in, in November as well as all year long. But it really comes to play a big role in November just because of all the beautiful things that are going on around me. Oh, yes. You shared yesterday, Shelly, that you were from Vancouver Island. And we are also getting snow today. I'm grateful for the snow. I get it very often. And today, I do have to get out today. So enjoying for the warmth of the house. Yeah, I know. It's so much nicer when you don't have to get out. And Shelly, I would love for you to share pictures in, in the um, video you know, below of your area. I just think that's really neat. I love finding out details of everybody's location. But thanks for sharing that. And I'm glad you're getting snow. And it's just nice having the... Uh, wood stove going and and just enjoying the snow here we go this is live welcome to my zoo all the animals are out of their cages <laughs> anyway let's try this again but anyhow um the, the gratefully prepared challenge the purpose of this is because I feel that when we are more grateful, when we see the blessings, I mean, we're all going through storms of sorts. We all have struggles, whether big or small, and all of our struggles are struggles. No matter what one is going through, you know, you can't, um, you just can't compare them because a struggle is a struggle. So, and, and not everybody's going through a struggle. Sometimes we just walk through life at such a speed that we're missing the things that are right in front of our nose. And I want to try to encourage people to really open their eyes and be aware of their surroundings, be aware of their blessings, regardless, you know, what you're going through in life. And I think that when we are more grateful, um, we are happier, we are more joyful, we are more alert, content, um, better servers of other people. Um, our brains are so much more intact and... Um, 
present is what I'm really getting at. And it enables us to learn better. And why not incorporate the two? Because preparedness is something that is really huge. And it's something that concerns us greatly because there's so many people with their head in the sand in society and are walking around very unprepared. And exactly, right? And I want you guys to be present and I want you guys to be aware and I want you to be prepared. You know, you don't have to live off grid to be prepared. You don't have to live, be a homesteader to be prepared. But we are using our voice and our channel to share with people the importance. You know, we go to a great extreme. We live very traditionally and primitively. It's a choice. Um, it's a desire. It's a passion. It's a love. We love our life. We love this life. And honestly, we're not far enough back in. Our desire and dream is to live another 50 to 100 miles back in in the middle of Alaska. And that we would be very perfectly content. Not everybody can do that. But you need to be prepared where you are. And that is what we want to get across to people, the importance of being prepared. I just want to give a little shout out from my book. My book that I um, penned and published in January is How to Embrace an Off-Grid Lifestyle. But don't let the title deceive you. This is for anybody that is looking to become more self-reliant. Regardless what your intentions are, how deep you want to get into it, this will walk you through every step of the process. Of Aha! Okay, I think I'm back. I never know when it's spinning like that if you can hear us or see us or what's going on. So I'm curious. Can you? Can you hear me talking nonsense when the screen goes blank and we're waiting for the connection to come back on? It's just good to know so I don't start dancing around or say something inappropriate. <laughs> no, but anyway, my book, I encourage people to pick up my book. This is something that is going to be part of the prize that's given away along with Dave Ramsey's book The Total Money Makeover at the end of this challenge. What I want you to do as part of this challenge, I'm realizing that if you post something on your personal page, I may not see it if I'm not a friend of yours. So I would like you to go to our wall here at Treyer Wilderness on Facebook or on um, YouTube, just share in the descriptions. And you can share in the descriptions of each video every day. But if you want to tag me specially with something, a photo, um, a thought, a saying, a celebration, whatever it is, be sure to tag it with um, the hashtag pound sign gratefully prepared and pound sign Treyer Wilderness. And do that on our Facebook page or again in the descriptions of this video or on YouTube. And share with me. The more you share, the more interactive you are in this challenge, the more celebrations and just things you share with me, the better chances of being chosen as a winner because we want activity here. I don't want to be doing this alone. I want your feedback. I want to get to know you. And that's what this is all about. So I know I'm jumping around a little bit today and I know we've broken up here twice. So bear with me because today is Saturday and the whole rest of the world is home. Kids are home and they're all using the same... Wi-Fi and, and solar powered internet connection that we have out here. So I'm on a wing and a prayer plus it's snowing. So bear with me here. I'd like for all of you that are joining me, whether you're, it's live or after the fact, to share with me in the description below. What are you grateful for? What are you looking to achieve in your preparedness? Um, are you new to preparedness? Share with me. Where are you from? You know, share details. I'm, I really want to know, but I want to know what you're grateful for. Hey, Carrie girl, if only I could see you. Aha, I'm back again. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, so today, what I am grateful for is my mountain boy. For those of you that are new to following me, my son is high-functioning autistic. He is going to be 21 in December, and I am very proud of him. And just feel so blessed to be chosen to be his mother. Uh, we have come a long way. Our lifestyle has enabled us to help Austin overcome 97, 98% of his autism and Asperger tendencies, which is an absolute blessing. He's back here making himself some food. He's frying up some potatoes and eggs. He is a licensed driver in Idaho. He is working for a saw and cycle shop in town, learning and apprenticing how to work on small, medium-sized, and eventually large motors. So I am just very blessed. 
Okay, let's try this some more. Is everybody out there with me? Give me some sign, give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts. Let me know that you're still out there. I apologize this is painful today. He keeps popping in. The mountain boy. <laughs> but I, I am really blessed to um, have an amazing son. It's important for us to have such great connections with our children. We've been progressing through um, the days. Day one, I was very grateful for... For you guys, I'm very grateful that I have an avenue to share my thoughts with you. Um, day two, I am grateful for my faith and God leading the way in my family. Day three, I was very grateful for my husband who is my rock and, and I couldn't be without him. And today is my son. Now part of all of this, and I every day I'm going to share a tip with you under the grateful portion of this and tips with you under the preparedness part of things. Miss Carrie, who is joining me right now, or was joining me, is responsible for sharing with me uh, a wonderful ministry who I have become very addicted to. Joe McGee Ministries is Fighting for Families Radio and Fighting for Families um, website is such an awesome awesome ministry and a great blessing. So Carrie, I love you anyway, but thank you for sharing that with me. And girl, I miss you more than you will ever know. But Joe McGee's Ministries is a laugh and learn approach to teaching you family uh, dynamics, uh, tips, tricks. He's just a great, great um, avenue to help build on your family, to build on your family relationships, to work on your finances. And the young men in my house have expressed that they wish that they would have learned um, some of the skills that Joe teaches before they even started dating. Just relationship um, tips are, are just, he's just amazing. And I really, really want to encourage you to check him out. You can go to treyerwilderness.com slash Joe McGee. It's M-C-G-E-E. -E. The um, link is in the description both here on Facebook Live and also on YouTube. Don't, please don't hesitate to check this out. Um, if you are not a Christian, I want to encourage you to go check him out anyway. His knowledge is amazing. It is Christian based, but Everybody can learn from this. And as I mentioned yesterday, a strong relationship with your spouse is like the rock and foundation of your family and, and your home, your homestead. And the same applies for your children. If you don't have a good relationship with your children as they are growing up, when they hit hard times and when they start getting involved in maybe things they shouldn't, you are not going to have that relationship with them that you need to be able to communicate. That is one blessing I've had with this guy the whole road we've been on is that he and I... Aha! Okay, back again. I'm sorry this is so painful today, but bear with me. Okay, so I've always had an amazing, amazing relationship with him. We could talk about anything, and it has been so helpful in his progression through autism. Um, just knowing our, for our children to know that we truly love them you know we may think that we're expressing that to them but it's important that we are it's important that we are really taking time to spend with our kids and not rushing through life getting them from one event to the other which ends up being a frustration but really quality time one thing he and I have always done is gone for long walks um, we do watch movies together. Sometimes I feel movies are a great thing to unwind and disconnect, but sometimes when you're looking for a really strong relationship, playing games, going for walks, where you actually have that time to communicate is so important. So I really encourage you to check out Joe McGee Minish Laptop on yet. Ah, I'm back again. Gosh, guys, I am really sorry. I want to keep pushing through. I'm going to try. So bear with me. You can always watch the replay. Okay, so... Just check out Joe McGee's link below. Get involved. I love his podcast. When I'm needing inspiration, when I'm needing something, um, a connection, I go to him. There's many podcasts. I will be sharing them with you on, on as we progress through here. Boy, your potatoes are really loud. Hi, Julie. Glad to have you joining me. Okay, so now let's talk about the preparedness side of things. We spoke so far about... Um, 
creating, I heard it. Okay, I'm not going to keep rattling on. Okay, preparedness. We've talked about the worksheets. You can find them by going to tryourwilderness.com slash newsletter and you will get free set of preparedness worksheets. Now, in filling them out, we also talked about creating a budget. Budgets are important. You will find a budget form in those sheets too. Um, we also talked about making your lists of things you need on your homestead, things you'd like to learn, things you want to accomplish. Okay, now today we're going to talk about things that you need. Create a list, two different lists. One for what you need if the power goes out, and two what you need in your vehicle. Whether uh, Think about uh, do seasonal for your car, okay? And even do seasonal for... Um, if the power goes out, because it's a really important thing. You know, your needs in spring will be very different than your needs are right now. Um, so I want you to make those lists. Those lists are important. This is an easy way to get started and get your mind thinking on a preparedness level. We will talk about food and other things as we progress in these 30 days. But these are ways to get started. Now I want to give you some advice. I was thinking about this this morning. I have so many people that come to me and ask me, how do I get my spouse on board? My spouse doesn't want to have anything to do with preparedness. He thinks preppers are nuts. You know, we could be considered preppers. We're homesteaders. We're a category of our own, really, as our friends would tell you. Um, so, you know, it doesn't matter. The thing is, what is comfortable for you? What works for you? But how do you get your spouse on board? You make your spouse comfortable. When you lose power, when you're in the car and it breaks down, if you have everything in there that he is going to or she is going to need to be comfortable, their baby wipes in case they need to use the bathroom while they're struck along, stuck alongside of the road, okay? It's little stuff. My son is laughing. It's okay. You can laugh at me too. But these are things that are going to make the difference. If you have their favorite candy bars or their favorite snack foods or their favorite drinks or things to make the situation comfortable and cozy, you've got candles, you've got solar lights, you've got lanterns, you've got heat, you've... Okay, so stinking painful. I'm telling you. All right, something... I'm, I must be doing something right because everything's fighting against me to get this information across to you guys today. Okay, so make your spouse comfortable. As comfortable as they can possibly be in whatever situation it is that you come across, okay? So always being a step ahead, always being prepared will make life so much easier. Thank you, Julie. And this is it. I mean, if you can make them comfortable and prepared, it will open their eyes and make them go, hmm, maybe she has or maybe he has something to this. Maybe there's reason, you know, maybe we should be a little more prepared. They might even go, hey, how about this for next time? But the other thing I want to recommend is when you have your list, every so often, keep that list handy and check it because we go through batteries. Batteries should be on that list, folks. Matches, candles, lanterns, lamp oil. Okay. If you go through a situation and you utilize some of that stuff, you instantly need to replace those things or you're not keeping your preparedness and preparing ahead mind in the right place. Okay, so these are just simple stages and steps to getting your mind to thinking that every day is a level of preparedness for the next day, for the next six months, for the next three years, whatever it is that you're stocking up. I say three years because I focus heavily on my food supply. So anyway, since this has been so painful, those are my tips for today. Links are down below. There's links to my um, uh books as well by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Tammy Treyer and communicate with me. Get on my Facebook wall and start posting what you're grateful for every day. I'd love to hear it. The more grateful you are, the happier you are. And I'm going to take you across my house here and I'm going to show you something. Bear with me so I don't trip over dogs and things. I want to show you something. This is another thing that I am always grateful for, and that is my life and my homestead. Sorry, bear with me while I go out here. We've got big flakes coming down. I don't know if you can see it right now, but I'm going to spin you around. and Watch this. Is that not awesome? I mean, how can you not love this? This is just so untouched and so puffy, and this is just the beginning. We've got lots of snow in our forecast. So, guys... I'm going to try to get on tomorrow. It's probably going to be the same thing where things are breaking up on me. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what time. Church comes first. And when I get back, um, 
I will jump on. I also have an, a special event that I'm going to tomorrow, but I will jump on at some point. I love you guys. Share with me what you're grateful for. Make your preparedness list. We might have quizzes tomorrow. Um, so make your list. Make them and, and as extensive as you need them to be. And we will do this again tomorrow and continue to do this till the end of the month. So, guys, thanks so much for joining me. You guys take care. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.